Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And welcome to our vlog. You join us on a... Well, it's a glorious sunny day today, isn't it? It certainly is. But um, <laughs> the rain's been relentless. Oh, God. It's been relentless. Muddy towpaths or yeah, what? Towpaths are like a quagmire. Yeah, where are we, honey? Um, we are on the Oxford Canal, North Oxford Canal. Yep. Um, we're in currently in Brinklow Marina at the moment. Yep. Um, so this video is going to be about our journey from um, Bedford Priory Marina to Brinklow Marina. Yeah. So we already started that last time, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. But we kind of stopped. We kind of um, started and then all of a sudden we stopped. Yeah, we've been a bit distracted. It's been a rather challenging time for us, but we're hoping things are improving now. Yep. Um, and uh, we're hoping that we'll be able to get back to the boat. Back cruising. Back cruising at some point. Carry um, on cruising. Yeah, yeah. But whether or not we're going to be cruising in the same way, is a, we're not sure yet. No, but um, that's early days for that. Yeah, we've got a car now, haven't we? So we that's, have. We've got a that to consider so um it's a matter of um deciding what we want to do whether we want to stay in the marina and just go out yep um still have access to the car that we can get back to kent even yep. when we need to yep or whether we're going to take the car and the boat cruising yeah which comes with its challenges doesn't it yeah it does yeah um, we have tried it before and didn't really get on with it particularly well but then maybe we didn't try hard enough because we didn't really need the car um, no. but we do now don't we so yeah um so if anybody's got any hints or tips on on traveling yep or they've got a map with every single parking <laughs> spot yeah on the canals yeah. that would be brilliant yeah because that's what we found challenging wasn't it looking yep. for parking places for yep. the car um a, a safe place is so to let us know car. down in the dis, in the um, yeah, comments comments below yeah yeah so that would be good uh, yeah. this video is really the continuation of what we were started from um, bedford La wasn't it yeah so this was this was last year um so we were traveling on uh, bank holiday monday august bank holiday monday for this video yep um on the rivers really we, nice yeah we loved it over over there didn't we yeah we loved it over on the great you're going to see some great great uh, river shots because there's some absolutely superb uh, yeah. superb places yeah. um, for mooring and all the rest of it so yeah. uh, it was good to look back on our journey wasn't it yeah. um, unfortunately we did do it in a bit of a hurry um, we only had four weeks to do it yeah um, that was on the great river ooze yeah. and then we went on to up onto the river Neen. onto the river Neen. Yeah. absolutely superb yeah. And don't uh, don't miss the seventeen locks that we did in one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was more than seventeen, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it. That's later, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, and um, um, please subscribe. Yeah. Um, we seem to be losing more than we're gaining, but we expected moment, that yeah, anyway. But, but we've had nearly two years off. We have. So we, well, we've had two years off the boat virtually. So we've, it's really nice to see you again. Um, <laughs> and uh, don't forget to keep coming back. You know, yeah. we've got more to come. But well, we hope. We've just had we've <laughs> just had a bit of a, a bit of a rough year, and uh, it will get better. Yeah. So um, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us on this journey. And. and uh, uh, Enjoy the video. Yeah. See you Enjoy soon. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye for now. In this video, we continue our journey from Bedford back to the Canal and River Trust waters. After mooring at the isolated Aldrith Rain Gober moorings for 48 hours, we press on to Pope's Corner. This section of the river is non-tidal and a completely different experience to the Bedford Erith Ooze. Apart from a small amount of water coming through the lock each time it's used, the Old West River's water supply relies on land drainage. This means there is very little flow and in high summer, during low rainfall, water levels can be down and cruising can be a little slow going with an abundance of floating weed. That being said, the section of river, this section of river can make for the most glorious cruising with plenty of wildlife to spot. Well, Pat's just going to demore. 
We've spent the night at these lovely Aldrith drain goba moorings. They're quite isolated. The nearest village is probably about, what, three quarters of a mile away. I don't know whether you can see that. The sun's unpointing into the sun. Um, and uh, it's open Finland all the way round. So, a lovely mooring, very isolated. Say good morning. Morning. So, it's a lovely day today, isn't it? But a bit windy. Yeah, we're just leaving the mooring. Yeah. Have you shown them the mooring? Yeah. So, as I said, a bit isolated, quite isolated, which is very nice. Oh, I've left the thing on. What have you left on? I've left a... Uh... Oh, a fender. Oh. Yeah. Done? I've left the fender on. Oh. But we haven't got any locks to do, so it no. doesn't really matter anyway. And we're only going about... We're going... As, long as, as long as it doesn't fall off, we can be all right. Yeah. We're doing about seven miles today, aren't we? That's all. Yeah, so, yeah. About... 20 miles. We're not walking, you know. Oh, no. So, Lovely day. So, yeah, a little bit, a little bit on the windy side. Uh, but breezy. hopefully, yeah, a bit breezy. And that wind's quite cold. It's and cooler. Yeah, but it's supposed to be warming up. Well, we're on the um, Old West River, just in case we didn't say, which is part of the River Grey Ooze. It's the connection between the Bedford Erith section and the and the uh, Ely section of the Grey Ooze. And this bit, I have to say, is lovely. It's a lovely bit of cruising today. We're hoping to moor up at Pokes Corner, which is uh, the junction to the Eli Ooze, or Ely Ooze. And, uh, but the trouble is there's a marina on the corner there and the moorings do get busy with people coming out of the marina for the weekend, which is why we've left it until today to go. We're hoping that some would have gone back in. because today is Bank Holiday Monday.
this is a Streatham Ferry Marina and I think followed closely by Lazy Otter Marina. And, uh, just under the bridge there. Apparently these used to be gober moorings but have now been taken over by the marina. I think Gober have managed to secure some moorings just ahead on the opposite bank. So these are the other Gober moorings which is a, a fair length actually and they're nice and straight. Well, we've moored up at these EA moorings by Pope Corner, by the Fish and Duck Marina. And we were here, funnily enough, we were here this time last year. And it was lovely. But we've moored up today, and it's three o'clock now, so it's a bit too late to move. And the farmer is ploughing his field next to us. And I don't know whether you can see that, but the water is covered in dust from the field plough. We have had to put the canopy up. We have had to put the canopy up because the dust is literally going everywhere. And it's a lovely sunny day, but we can't sit out because of the amount of dust. And we did clean this side of the boat yesterday. But no, we didn't, we cleaned it the other day and it's now covered in dust. But that's the way it goes. So we're sitting indoors. Actually, I'm filming this, but Pat's watching a video on his phone and he's fallen asleep. So he's down there asleep. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. The sad thing was, when we first arrived, there were some boats behind us and Pat, we knew one of them. So we stopped here and there was a space up ahead. But they've all moved up there now. And we're on our own up here in the dust. Um, I can imagine that they must be getting some dust over there as well, but maybe not as much as it is here. But, uh, <laughs> but you can probably see that now. Still, hopefully he'll finish soon. Apparently he's got another, I've been up on the bank and he's got another half a field to do. So uh, hopefully he'll, he'll be finished in the next couple of hours and then we'll be able to sit out. If the sun's still shining, that is.